Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Marauder X here, back with more Let's Play Dust and Elysian. Elysian? I'm gonna keep saying Elysian. Uh, Elysian Tale. So we're here in Aurora Village. We're still looking around. There's people to talk to. I'm only gonna talk to the, the important people who have quest markers and quest objectives. Hello. I don't believe I've seen you before. We just came in from the West. Ah, oh, so you're the one everyone is talking about. Everyone's talking? Of course! You're the one who saved Oneida! Uh, my name is Mosca, and I am at your service. If you need anything, just let me know. Say, are you, uh... Are you staying long? I don't know. Why do you ask? Well, if you ever find yourself heading east of the village, maybe you could let me know if the roads are safe? Oh, they're far from safe. The town guards mentioned that monsters have been attacking all sides of the village. You're better off staying inside the walls for now. Well, see, here's my problem. I I've been meaning to visit someone in Denim. It's a small village on the edge of Abadi's forest. I imagine this someone is pretty important to you? Well, yeah. See, it's about a girl. Well, surely she's worth the danger. Oh, she is! She definitely is. I just... I, I want to make sure she's okay. With all these monsters around, there's been no word from Denim at all. Mosca, if my travels take me there, I'll let her know you're thinking about her. Oh, thank you so much! You're great! You're really, really great! So, and we get XP for all of that. So that's, that's what we're really aiming for, is talking to people to get the XP. And there's a bunch of stuff here in town. I have no keys, so I cannot open that chest yet. I'm sure there's a key actually somewhere around here. There's probably a key in town that I just don't know of. You! You're perfect! Um, thanks? Not you! Listen, do you hear it? Can you hear its whispers locked within? Within the box. My box. I don't hear anything. Well, of course you don't! My box has been lost! Somebody must have stolen it! Perhaps it was that Mosca fellow. He's always averting his gaze from me. Like he's hiding something. Probably his distaste for your nuttiness. I can hear its whispers coming from below. Down, deep down in the earth. If you're ever down there, please, you must find my box and return it at once. And whatever you do, do not open the box. Okay, Reed. If I find your box underground, I'll be sure to bring it back. I just got 672 XP for talking to someone who was batshit crazy. Hi there. Well, hello. Uh, you're a quiet one. Dust, manners. You'll have to excuse him. He's a bit worn out, saving the village and everything, you know? Yes, I heard something about that. Ah, yes. Well, good. Honestly, it doesn't matter. They'll just keep coming back. I... And there's nothing we can do about it. Excuse me. Oh, she's a cheery one. Note added reads box. Box, that's what it is. It's a box. You can't open it. Don't look in the box. Do not open the box. You can look at the box, but that's it. And only if it helps you, bring it back. It fell into a hole near the storage cave in Aurora. No doubt found by whatever lives in the darkness deep below. Alright, well, that's totally not creepy. She's a cheerful one, huh? A bit of gratitude might have been nice. What kind of a bratty... Hey, ease off, Dust. She looked like she was pretty depressed. I... I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry, Fidget. I, I don't know what came over me just then. Come on, let's keep moving. The joys of amnesia. Things happen and you don't understand why, because deep down. Alright, so there's a shop here. Let's see what's in the shop. Ah, our famed savior. I had hoped you'd come. Welcome to my humble shop. Alright, so let's see what he's selling. He basically the same stuff. So we've already got the whetstone. We don't need that. We've got Armor. I don't 
And we need another ring at the moment. Uh, I don't have any more of the revival stones. I do have a... He's got six keys, but I can't... And then he's also got a ton of materials. Look at all the materials we can buy for a hundred gold a pop. I'm actually going to buy a couple more of those since I had to sell some. What else do I... He's got two of those. I've got... Well, I've got two of those. Zero the... Okay, so I, I'm... I'm okay for now. Honor us with your patronage. Please tell your friends. You're rich one. And with that, we level up, which means we're gonna have a skill stone acquired. Let's see what to go for. Um, uh, HP is probably gonna be good. I I could up Fidget's Dust Storm, but I I really don't see a lot of need to. I'm at least not this early on. Alright, so there's also some stuff down here. There's a save point. And a note. A word of advice. What is this thing? Some kind of cage? Whatever it is, it's making this awful, awful racket. Once in a while, I hear the words that sound like fat and beats. What does that even mean? I'll hide in the caves beneath Aurora until I found the keys I need. I just need to remember to jump as far to the right as I can. Alright, so caves beneath Aurora, jump as far to the right as you can. That's probably where we're going to find Reed's box. So, that's that's something to keep in mind. We could go up here. Hey, another kid! Oh, hi. You're new. Are you travelers? Maybe you can help me? I can't find my little brother, Corbin. He's not in the village? No, he's not here. I can't find him, and I've looked absolutely everywhere. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye out for him. What's your name? My name is Colleen. Oh, I wonder if he left the village. He could get hurt. Calm down, Colleen. I'll look for him. Where did you see him last? I think he was doing something for Mr. Gianni, but whenever I ask him about Corbin, he says he's too busy. I really don't like that guy. Gianni, huh? Okay, wait here. If you find Corbin, please bring him home. I'm really getting worried about him. And then another treasure chest at the top of the town. So, we're going to have to come back here for a lot of stuff. And then, another person. This is Bram. Good day, I'm Mayor Bram. So, you're the hero I've been hearing about. It's nothing, really. We're just passing through. No need to be modest, my friend. We can't thank you enough for your help. Things have been rough in Aurora of late, so having a true hero in our midst is really boosting morale. So, what's your name, son? Dust. My name is Dust. And some of the villagers I've met, they don't seem quite as pleased as you. Ah, are you talking about the Watchmen? You must understand, hardly a day goes by without some monstrosity attacking our peaceful village. They were simply being cautious. Take my word. I'm sure they meant no ill will. And there was also this girl. Yes, that could only be Ginger. Now, she can be a bit of a handful, but don't pass judgment on her like that. You have no idea what she's gone through this past year. She looked pretty upset about something. Oh, don't concern yourself. We have other matters to discuss. What help could I possibly provide? A few giants in a field seem like the least of your problems. Yet again with the modesty. You're no mere travelers, that much I've gathered. Mineral merchants don't wield blades as impressive as yours, Dust. Please, we really could use the help. I don't know. I'm searching for something myself. Then perhaps we can help each other. If you help our village, I promise I'll do whatever I can to help you. But I can be of no assistance while our village is constantly attacked by these creatures. We suspect their leader is close by, and if you could... Whoa, 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 you hold on a second. You're saying those mindless thugs have a leader? Until recently, they would attack us in small groups. Nothing we couldn't handle. Now, they coordinate attacks on a much larger scale, hitting the village on both sides, driving our forces apart. I assure you, whatever leads these things is experienced in warfare. 
What do they want? Our land, I imagine. Just a casual observation, but they don't seem the farming type. Well, whatever it is, it's become a serious problem. If you truly are as capable as I hear... You want us to find their leader? It certainly would cripple their advance. You'll be doing the entire village a great service. How about it, Dust? Well, I... You feel a conflict of emotions. This is good. I will abide by your decision, Master. I trust you to take the right path. Helping this village is the right thing to do. But it's more than that. It's almost like... Like I know these people. Like I have to help them. I think that strange feeling you've got is a little boring concept called compassion. I'm proud of you, Dust. Of course, if you said no, I need to bite your face off. Charming as always, Fidget. I think you've made a wise decision. All right, Mayor Bram, you've convinced us. We'll do what we can to help stop these attacks. <laughs> That's my boy. The Watchmen reported increased monster activity to the east of our village, so I imagine that's where you should go. But do be careful. Strong as you may be, I've seen many fine warriors lose their lives to these monstrosities. I understand, Mayor. I'll be careful, and I'll be back. And it makes me wonder, does everyone hear Dust? Or, uh, the, not Dust, but, uh, the, the Blade speak? Like, is it just speaking telepathically to me now, or did they, like, did, did the mayor hear the sword speak? And if so, why did the mayor not comment on talking sword? And I believe this is the last person we can talk to in the village, so... Hey, you're the outsider. Yeah, that's me. That's great! So you must know your way around out there. Maybe you could do me a favor. Depends on the favor. What is it you need? Well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Vale, and I'm in charge of keeping our guards well equipped. Oh, so their poor equipment is pretty much your fault. <laughs> in so many words, yes. It's not like I enjoy giving them subpar equipment. If I had better materials, I could make better gear. Tell you what, if you could bring me five imp hides, I would gladly buy them off you for more than the shop will offer. I'll keep my eyes open. Much appreciated. I'll be waiting right here. Alright, so this guy seems like he's going to be giving us fetch quests. Alright, so, uh, there's one person we didn't talk to, because he didn't have a quest marker, but I'm also wondering if he is the person that we need to talk to now for, uh little girl looking for her brother. So I'm going to check and see if that's indeed him. Don't need to talk to... Yeah, I know energy's being depleted because I'm, I'm burning through it. That's Reed. So... That's Mosca. You, Gianni. Gianni, I want to ask you about a boy named Corbin. Ah, have you seen him? Where has that foolish boy run off to? I was hoping you could tell me. He must still be wasting time in Ivydale Glen. I just knew I shouldn't have trusted that boy with cleaning my fabrics. Corbin is doing your laundry outside the village? I do not see why this is so difficult to comprehend. But then I suppose you don't have the capacity for rational thought. If you are so concerned, maybe you should go look for him instead of waffling about. Oh, I'll find him. Then we're going to have a little chat. Yes. Of a chat. Where I will be forced to end you. So yeah, because there's a treasure chest here, I, I get the feeling that's why it's it's telling me that there's treasure here. Okay, well, let's just keep moving on, and that actually should be about it for town, so I can, let's see, does talking to you, no, let's say, does talking to you change anything that we've We've now learned where your brother may very well be. 
I don't have any imp hides on me, do I? Let's see, lumber, nails, fabric, wire, glue, thread, scrap, dye, cotton, paper, bottle, junk, beast spear, beast leather, I've got two beast leathers, a giant rock, and a giant core. So no... No imp. Alright, so, we have three new places that we can go to. We can go to Archer's Pass, which is where we can find our blacksmith, Abadis Forest, where the... Uh, Mayor has asked us to go, and Ivydale Glen, which is where we can go to find the child. We're actually going to go to Archer's Pass because we want to open up access to the blacksmith. Not that we can really make anything right now, but going to the blacksmith gives us uh, an item that will also allow us to open up certain types of passageways. I don't know how common they are going to be outside of the pass here, but these here... Resonance gates need a blue resonance gem. So that's what we are going to go for. Which means we are also going to just murder all of these monsters in our way. Do you hear something flapping? What? Uh, that isn't you? Hey, I don't make that much noise. Wait, you're right. Look out! We've got company. And now we have aerial enemies. We can remove them from the air, or we can fight them in the air. Either or, they are not going to be a threat to me. And we! I do love the combat in this game. It is actually so much fun. Just to beat the crap out of all these bad guys. Getting to the point to where a lot of the smaller ones go out rather quickly, that will be something that does not stick around for very long. There's one thing I've noticed about this game, it's the the enemies scale very appropriately. So something to look out for that, you know, they can and will just kinda of beat the crap out of you. So And a save point? And a bomb. I don't see anything that could be bombable, though. Maybe it's over here. Or maybe it's just used... to, uh... encourage as a, uh... an actual melee attack. And another level up! Leveling up! Not really a bad thing when you've got this many, uh... This many quests to give you XP. Um, I think... I think I'll go with defense. Alright, so we've got a bunch of statues here, which are really neat. I love the backgrounds to this. And the fact that we're here in a thunderstorm is actually just even that much cooler. The one thing about the dust storm is it does give a ton of hits, so that you can use it to actually kind of increase uh, your combo, so that you can get a higher modifier for XP. That is something you can do. But I'm not terribly worried about it, really. At the current level that I've got it at, it's not going to do much damage. Like, as you can see, most of the, the dust storm particles are only doing 1 HP a hit, unless they get a critical. So it's like, I could do a ton of damage, not what I wanted to do. I fell. Let's hop back up here. And... Oh, hey! You're a big one. And I'm gonna take you out rather quickly. Because I really just don't want to deal with you. I don't like dealing with the giants. The giants are my least favorite thing. And there's another section here that we can slide under, but we don't have the slide ability yet. And we're just gonna keep scaling 
the pact. Oh! That's the problem. So many of these things. And since there's so many of them, I'm gonna... Whee! All the way down. Damn! That was... And these guys just don't seem like they're gonna stop anytime soon. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna keep... Oh, hey, there's ground-based troops, too. Where did you guys come from? I thought I was just dealing with the, uh... the flying guys. But that gives you a sense of scale of just... I mean, we saw how far I could actually fly upwards. So... That was actually a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, and I should actually go ahead and end this episode here, because I'm about out of time. So I will do that, and we will continue on in the next episode, finishing up Archer's Pass, hopefully. So until then, later, everyone.